Hi you guys, um, so I'm back. My lighting is really bad today because it's like pouring down rain outside. Um, but I figured that I would do, I told you guys in my last video that I was going to do an kind of open box, like show you what I got in a swap video with a bunch of um, lipsticks. So I figured that I would go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna try and, I'm after this, I'm going to film um, the like if my makeup disappeared what are the 10 um, things that I would repurchase I'm gonna do that for makeup and for brushes just because I don't think brushes should count um, so keep a lookout for that but I'll just go ahead and get started so I got a ton of high-end lippies you can see them all um, there's more than this but I'm just gonna get started um, I'll swatch them for you guys just because I think this will go pretty fast. Um, and then I'll tell you if there's two that I've worn already um, so I can tell you about those. The first one is the Givenchy Pop Gloss in 452 Exciting Coral which looks like this. Um, and it's just a really pretty corally nude color. Um, then I have, this is just a backup of the Rouge Allure Luminous Satin Lip Color in 81 Insouciante. Insouciant? I don't know. This is my, one of my go-to nude colors. It just looks like this. And there is that swatch right there. Plus, I just love the packaging on these. If you don't know, they like click. Um, then this is one of the uh, MAC Mateens which are actually coming back soon um, and this one is in Cafe Matte. So it's that darker color. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work with this but I will find a way. <laughs> it's a little dark for what I usually wear. Um, then I have, she sent me, I didn't swap for this, she sent this to me. It is the Givenchy Lady Pulp 701 Lady Beige, and it's a lip lacquer volume and matte effect. This is what the, this is the lip gloss, and this is what this one looks like. So it's the same packaging, but this one's got a frosted tube. And this one I think will be really pretty with like, um, a simple eye or it's right here or like a um, smoky but not super smoky because I like to keep my lips pretty light if I do that and then I have two or th maybe three I think three of the kiss kiss stick gloss extreme shine fruity colors this one is in grape juice and it looks like this they come in these awesome packaging there's grape juice right there and then I'll swap I'll swatch all of these together this one is in orange interdeet oh no wait this is a this is a actual gloss but that's fine I'll swatch this for you guys this has such pretty you're not gonna be able to oh yeah you can see it. it has really pretty glitter in it that actually like shows up um I used this on the center of my lids yesterday at lids on the center of my lips yesterday and it was just really pretty so it's just I don't think you're gonna be able to see it yeah you can see but it's um it's a really, really clear, like, jelly orange base, but then it has all of this glitter running through it. Um, so that's really great. Um, sorry, I have this stuff, like, everywhere. Then I have the, this is another one of the Kiss Glosses, and this one's in Mango Fizz. This one I love. It looks like this. Sorry, I'm all backwards on my camera today. And then here's the color of that one, right there. 
then this is what I'm wearing today and it's the Rouge Dior Creme de Gloss Creamy Lip Gloss and this is in the color 255 Pink Elixir and it's what I have on my lips but I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. I really like the consistency of these and they're not uber pigmented, it's right there. Um, but they're just really gorgeous. I'm really loving it. Um, and then I have a Guerlain Kiss Kiss, just the regular lipsticks that come in the packaging like this. And this is in the color Rose Ingenue 573. I wore this yesterday and it is the perfect color. I can see me wearing this like over and over and over again. It's right there. And on the lips, it just gives me a little bit of like, it enhances my natural lip color. It's silky, it's smooth, it stayed on. This is great. If you have coloring like mine, I would really check this out. Um, then she sent me, I swapped for this one, um, and this is the YSL Rouge Volept number two. Um, which looks like this. Um, I actually had this a year or two ago, and it disappeared. This one's in tester packaging, so it's got the number on the bottom. Um, but it doesn't really make a difference to me. This one is one of the old Guerlain Diva Nora Color Brilliance, and this is number 286. Looks like this. This is also a really gorgeous color that I think I'm going to end up wearing a lot. That's it right there. And then um, I also swapped for a powder. Um, I also swapped for a powder that's a Chanel powder that I think was limited edition. Um, and it's the Soft Press Powder in Azalea. which um, I used today to set my foundation. And it's just a really pretty beige color, but it has a slight sheen to it. So it doesn't make the skin look too matte. And then um, she sent me a mini Chanel Glossomer that I'm so excited about because I love anything that's like mini size. And this one is such a pretty color. And it is in the color 132 Mirage. And I'll just swatch this one for you guys too. So that's it right there. And this is such a gorgeous color, so I can't wait to try that. Um, so that is all for now. Um, I'll be back later with the 10 things um, I would repurchase if all of my makeup disappeared. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.